from Abuja. Hello, thank you for being a part of our show. I appreciate you. I'm Magnus Packle, and this is Magnus Packle GVA. As you know, it's all about how we can raise the level of living. That's what it's all about. In view today, is Africa rising? We bring you a discussion with Dr. Paddy Njoku and Mr. Nick Ezechier on whether Africa is rising. But before that, in our hidden economics, the cost of developing political followership. But up next, we bring you some business and development indicators in our quick view. That's coming right up. According to the 2014 Global Status Report on Alcohol and Health of the World Health Organization, WHO, 3.3 million deaths occurred in 2012 as a result of a harmful use of alcohol. This means that while alcohol can be thought to bring happiness to some people, it clearly also has been associated with a great amount of unhappiness. In this connection, measured by the amount of pure ethyl alcohol consumed per capita per year and by people aged 15 and above, which of the following countries is the heaviest drinking nation in the world? Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, and Portugal. Which of the following nations is the heaviest drinking nation in Africa? South Africa, Sierra Leone, Nigeria, and Uganda. Stay with us for our answers coming up shortly. Still in view, is Africa rising? Look for our discussion with Paddy Njaku and Nicholas Ezechia, but up next in our hidden economics, the cost of developing political followership. The staple singers, stack songwriters Raymond Jackson, Carl Hampton, and Homer Banks were going to have lunch when inspiration struck. As they were about to go to their favorite lunch spot, the four-way grill in Memphis, Tennessee, Jackson called out, if you're ready, come go with me. the trio had completed a song based around that phrase. The song became a major hit throughout much of the 1970s. Good leaders have a clear vision of where they want to take their followers. They give the people a clear roadmap of where they are heading and then must inspire them to take the journey. It turns out that this can be a costly process, but the real leader must bear the bulk of the cost. To be a leader, you will have to go through personal sacrifices that should transform and prepare you for any heavy lifting ahead. The belief is that the sacrifices and moments of deep introspection and reflection will cause you to have a vision that lets you see farther into the future than most of your followers. And when I talk about a vision and the issue of inspiring people to take the journey, it comes down to being able to articulate a story that people can relate to. If you are ready, come go with me. To get the people ready, you have to cause them to be able to relate to the story and see themselves in it. In addition, they must see how they can make a contribution. That's how you know they are ready. Why some leadership efforts have failed it's because the leader uses the inducement of money or the threat of retribution. 
If it is money, people will follow the money. And when it stops being available, they also stop being available. If it is about retribution, people follow psychophantically and stop at the first defeat the leader suffers. However, true leadership endures and supporters are undaunted by setbacks. So the marketplace of true leadership has this distinctive feature. Most of the cost of the journey is borne by the leader, while all the benefits accrue to the people, that is, the followers. And then, the wider the range of people that benefit, the greater the leader. Our hidden economics for you. Before we start our discussion in view, here are our quick view answers. The country with the heaviest alcohol consumption in the world per capita is Belarus at 17.5 liters. In Africa, Nigeria has the highest alcohol consumption rate per capita at 12.28 liters. To contact us, please see our information displayed on the screen. We are constantly reminded these days that Africa is rising. In March this year, The Economist magazine declared that Africa is the world's fastest growing continent. Recently, we had two dynamic and well experienced gentlemen who have covered, followed, and researched trends in Africa to share their thoughts on how well Africa is growing. Dr. Njaku is a writer, public affairs analyst, and chairman of the National Examination Council, NECO, in Nigeria. And Mr. Nicholas is the chair, the CEO of Living Eyes International Media Nigeria Limited, has business activities spanning countries such as China, Russia, Middle East, and Asia, and of course also the United States of America. Please join me in my discussion with Dr. Njaku and Mr. Ezechia. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for being in our Magoni studios. I'm very pleased to have you guys uh, once again. Uh, we're going to talk about Africa rising from weakness. And, um, you know, with all the natural resources that we have, with all the strong growth that has been reported, Africa growing about 5% lately, uh, is Africa weak? Because in the, in the eyes of some people, Africa is still the weakest link in the so-called global chain. It is Africa weak? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start with you, uh, Nick. Good question. Yes and no. <clears throat> um, in terms of resources, Africa is very strong. This is the vast majority of resources globally situated in Africa. In terms of Africa's perception of itself, yes, they more or less they have low belief in their capability. In terms of global arena, Africa has really been in a back burner for quite a while. So hence the reason people say yes, it is in a weak position. Okay, so so the, um, the it depends on who is looking at it. Yes, uh, Dr. Joku, is, is that do you see it the same way? Africa is said to be growing very fast. It's said to have uh, all kinds of natural resources. The Chinese are coming, the Americans are coming, all these guys are coming. Are they coming because of our weakness or because of our strength? Or it depends on how we are looking at ourselves or they are looking at us. Africa in the world scheme is like a young girl. It attracts suitors. So Africa is beautiful. It's beautiful, it's growing. But what I tell people in families is when the child is growing, mm -hmm. The parents are also growing old, but the child is growing up. Okay. I mean, it happens to you in your own family. It happens yes. in my own family. Yes. My, um, the children are growing up, but I'm growing old. Growing old. Uh, these other parts of the world that perceive Africa as young, weak, yes. are growing old while Africa is growing up. 
Okay. So it's not a situation where you look at it negatively. Um, it's possible that one day too Africa grows old after growing up. That is why, as Nick said, most of the resources, untapped resources, are still here. And they will be tapped. And that is why every, every power is interested now to get a bit of Africa. Um, but managing that growth is like managing adolescence, man managing early, early adulthood. Yeah. If you mismanage it, then late adulthood becomes a regret. When youth is a mistake, old age is a regret. This is what Africa should be careful about. Some of the people who are courting it now are old, if you like, developed, as you say, in the other euphemism. Um, can Africa, Africa's de development be properly channeled that it doesn't become a regret? Secondly, do we have somewhere to go when we are in our old age as a continent? The other continents are coming here today. The, the, the other continents are coming. Uh, well, even if we classify them not so much as continents, but as countries, looking specifically at, say, China and the United States, because they look like the ones that are looking a little bit more active in their posturing towards Africa. My question is, my fear is, are they coming because of perceived weakness? Let's go and take advantage of something. Let's go and get their consumers. Let's go and get their natural resources. Or are they coming to engage partners on an equal footing? <clears throat> That's a good question. I think they're not coming, in my opinion, for the benefit of Africa. I mean, the thing we have to understand is they have a population. That population has a need over the next few years. Where, how can we feed our population in 20, 30, 40 years? Here's where the resources are. So the reality is they're coming for their own need. In a process, as Obama said once, we're also looking for a consumer population, yeah. an untapped consumer population, which Africa has to offer. Yeah. So in terms of relationship, as I see it now, to a large degree, it is currently a one-way, one-sided relationship. In terms of? In terms of who is benefiting from the relationship. Who, who is benefiting? I think the Western world has more to benefit at this stage. In partnering with us? Yes. No. I think, to be honest with you. And, the, and, and that's, it is, uh, whose fault is that? Is it their fault or is our fault? I think it is our fault. Because at the end of the day, if you go into any kind of business contract, you know what exactly you're trading off, what you're prepared to give, what you're looking to get back. Yeah, you know, because when countries get together, or parties of whatever kind get together, they're getting together, one would uh, think, because of what each one is coming into that thing, because of what that person can get. If I get into a relationship with you, I'm not, quite honestly, I may not be coming just to see how I can help you. I'm coming to see how I can benefit from my relationship with you. You better also find your own way of seeing how you benefit from that relationship. So, say these guys come for our natural resources. We've got to be able to position ourselves so we get something from that. Since we're not going to drink, eat, or chew our natural resources, we got to trade it. But okay. let them come take it, but we also get what? Fine. Um, we get, I, I want, I want, yeah, what, right. what do we get? Yeah, I, I think um, I, I touched on this earlier. Yes. These people don't come because they like your face. Yes. Which is very true. They don't. They, they come because, like I said, you got something they need that they don't have. Yes. And you must get it clear in your mind. That's not because Nick is so handsome. Mm, and we're you. going to look for him. <laughs> which, which, huh? which, which, uh, oh, yes, I suppose he is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought I was the model. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> right, so that's, that's, yes. why we, that's not why we go to Nick's place. Yes. Nick has got something somewhere that we need to take. And after taking it, it's left for Nick to start looking for us. Yes. That's why these guys come here. As, as, as I said earlier, I mean, just... You know, England 
in French is Angleterre. A small angle of land. That's what it is. What are the resources there? Fine. I mean, with due respect, immense respect for the United Kingdom and for England. But what do we go to look for there? What do we get when we, get, when, when we go there? We just go to get some services. Uh, it's a shopping emporium that we go to every day and get good shopping services and so on well, and so what forth. About, what about knowledge? Don't yeah, you go there for okay, yes, part okay. of it, good, yeah. part of mm -hmm. the resources, mm -hmm. even though uh, some of them come here to give it to us. So, um, apart from that, what natural resources, apart from okay. this, yeah. this knowledge, do yeah. we go to look for there? Okay. In, that, in that parchment of land? Yeah. Little or nothing. Yes. Now, Africa, as you said, is what has been called a geological scandal. Mm. Yes, geological, no, geological scandal. Geological scandal. That's wow. the okay. Almighty in his in his everything. Yeah. Yes. Um, in his benevolence, put here. But what, what does that mean? Geological scandal. That is every mineral you can yes. think of in the world mm. is under the soil of Africa. Okay. Also, so you can also till the land several times. Exactly. Compared to most places, it's under it's under our soil. Okay. So people have to come to look for it. Not because um, they like they like you or like me. Mm -hmm. They have to come. Most because of the time, okay. we don't even negotiate on the terms. Absolutely. Because, I mean, look because, at because, oil, because you don't know how to negotiate. Yeah, because at times we don't know how to negotiate. Yeah. Because at times... Be because, because you are weak? Mm -hmm. I is that what that means? Can I just, just interject? I think yes. In reality, I think people have always been aware that Africa has the resources they have... So it's an untapped workforce. Yes. And I mean, to a large degree, people have actually stood back and just observed what are they doing with it. As time has gone on, they've now just decided, look, we have a need. Since they don't want to do something with their own resources, we are giving them the time to do it. They haven't done it. We'll now come in and do it ourselves. Now, in terms of weakness, I mean, you have to say, does Africa perceive itself to be on the same power as the rest of the world. And in reality, no. I mean, even amongst our ministers, our governments, our governments, we really believe that we are not in a position of strength where we can negotiate on equal terms with yeah. them. We, we believe that or we know that? We, what, which, what, I, I which think one we know that. Let, let, let's get down to the yeah. basics, okay. really. Um, I believe that God has a compensatory system yeah. where he doesn't give everything to one side okay he gives you what i like so that i can need you, you can do business. and vice versa <laughs> i can do business yes the, the 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 rules of the game actually were were defined by these folks we didn't know what crude oil was mm -hmm. until they told us there was crude oil we didn't know where it was until they said look you are sta you are standing on it so much so that today if care is not taken, if you do a meticulous analysis on that, some countries in Africa don't even know how much Absolutely. Yeah. crude oil they are producing per day. Yeah. Until, until that person who says, there's all you hear. You, you don't have prospect. to do a meticulous analysis to Thank know you. that. Thank you. You know, I was being meticulous yes. too with my words. Okay, good. You know. So, they said, where you are, where you are standing now, there's, there's oil there. We will drill it. They tell you we are getting this much oil from it, it. and we'll show you where to sell it. Mm -hmm. And you go there, they determine the price okay. because you don't buy it. Okay? And they determine the price and tell you, so, okay, now that we've bought so much from you, we will, we will, um, uh, what do you call it, refine it. Okay. And we'll Let's sell say. this part and bring you back this much. Whether you like it or not, in real Fine. terms, that is still what is happening. When we were students in France in the 1970s, there was a very popular expression in France. They say, on France, on a pas de petrole, on a day. So we couldn't understand what it meant. I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in France, we yeah. don't have petrol, we have ideas. Mm -hmm. Okay? And it is still applicable today. Okay. Right? With their ideas, they're waxing strong. Mm -hmm. And with those ideas, they are going to the place 
where the Almighty God has placed the petrol mm -hmm. to explore and exploit mm -hmm. the petrol to sustain the well-being of their people. We didn't know that we had uranium in, in Niger, mm -hmm. for example, until they come and say, look, this is uranium. Mm -hmm. And they take it to go and perfect into what they want yeah. and determine the price. So, whether you like it or not, there is still... We didn't know this. Thing. So, so, do we good. know it now? That's a good question. Well, we still don't know. Exactly. Yeah. No, and I'm asking you guys. guys. I mean, question. We, I think we, we're not as knowledgeable as we should be. Okay. In the current situation. Yes, Africa is rising. Yes. As to, as to which regards, as, we, as to regards to Africa itself, mm -hmm. as far as the international world is concerned. <laughs>